the book study has made me much more aware of how Jesus works in my life and my prayer life. It's made me want to do more. And I loved how we had to look up the scriptures and see how that fit in my life and how to apply that scripture. I think the most memorable thing about the book study was learning and or remembering that Jesus wants us to trust him, to not be anxious. He takes care of the birds in the sky. He's going to take care of me. Well, I've thought about that a lot. And because of my personal restrictions, I have to set priorities about what I can and can't get involved in. And I have I have done that. And I have a cousin that is very dear to my heart who has Alzheimer's. And I have an uncle who is my last oldest living uncle who has CLPD like me and also has lung cancer. So those are my priorities right now other than trying to make it to church. And I've had to give up so many things, but I just feel like I don't, I can't give those up. Well, I've gotten very conscious of everything that I say and do during the day. I wake up in the morning and I think of what people I'm going to be meeting and what I'm going to be doing for them. And at the end of the day, I'm thinking, did I do the right thing? Did I say the right thing? Is my, are my uh, actions going to lead me to heaven? So I evaluate myself every day. As I was looking through the book and I went through the different areas, three of the, the ones that stood out to me most were pride, anger, and anxiety. Uh, I realized that if I am prideful, or if I'm anxious, or if I am angry with myself or with others, then what I'm not doing is I'm not loving myself. Therefore, if I'm not loving myself, it's very difficult to love others. So what I realized is that in order for me to be a true disciple of Christ, what I have to do is deal with those individual issues in my own life. So therefore, I can love myself, then I can love others and minister as Jesus did. 